Pockets full of keys, phones, wallets, capes and the like. Tell you what, top tip, get an old bead on, cut the top off, it's a handy space saver. Get a little plastic bag, a couple of inner tubes, remember always to take two folks, Allen key set, and obviously your tyre levers. Wrap them up so they're watertight, to a nice tight bundle. That's obviously saving you a lot of room in your pocket. Slot them into there. And then your second bottle cage, voila. Keep those toes warm. For extremely icy conditions in the depths of winter, make like a jacket potato. Get some tin foil and wrap over your socks and toes before putting you into your cycling shoe for superb insulation against the elements. Keep warm on those cafe stops. There's nothing worse after a long, sweaty ride and getting those coffee and cakes down here to venturing out with a cold, damp under jersey. So a good idea is to get a spare one wrapped up in plastic in your back pocket to keep you nice and toasty for the second part of your ride. Standby lights. For those really gloomy mornings, surprise fog patches and epic rides that go on late into the afternoon, it's always a very, very good idea to have a pair of LEDs front and rear just as an emergency to get you home nice and safe. Always carry two inner tubes and not one. A punch and repair kit at the side of the road in the cold, damp conditions is about as much use as a chocolate fire guard, especially if you're on your own. Because remember, once the first one's used, you haven't got a spare. So, as a rule, make it part of your ritual, always carry two. Choose the right tyres. Now, it's vitally important you get something for the winter months that's up to the task. And by that, I mean something with a Kevlar lining, with a good tread, and something between 23 and 25 millimetres carry enough fuel. Now running out of food in a long winter run, as most of us have experienced, is a nasty experience in the dreaded bonk. So, make sure your pockets are full, especially on one of the longer rides. Now a great seasonal favourite is of course leftover Christmas cake, but today I've opted for GCN's Uber Bar. Make sure you clean your winter bike. Now, I know it's not the first thing on your mind when you get back from a very difficult, hard, arduous ride, but believe me, if you do it right, and you do it right then, it's gonna save you a lot of time and hassle, and possibly money. So give it a good rinse off, get off all the mud and all the corrosive salts that are laying on the roads at that time of year, lubricate all the parts, especially the chain, the hub area, and the cassette, and hey presto, for the next ride, you're straight out onto the road, and you're prolonging the life of those expensive components. Stay warm for roadside repairs. When riding in a group and somebody punctures or has a mechanical, especially in very cold or wet conditions, it's a good idea for just one or two people to remain doing the job at hand, whilst the rest of the group continue riding at a steady pace, spinning their legs, keeping warm, and then doing a U-turn before coming back, essentially keeping moving until the repair is complete to avoid catching a chill. Remember, keep moving if you can. Protect your gadgets. Now most of us these days carry very expensive mobile phones or sat navs around with us, so it's a very good idea, especially when you've got multiple layers of clothing on, to wrap your mobile phone in a little sandwich bag or something like this to protect it from moisture. Now the moisture can build up under the layers of clothing when you sweat, especially in the depths of winter, so this is a very good idea to protect your valuable assets. We're going to start with the basics. A good undervest is essential as soon as the